Man, there's so much I want to ask about. Um, I'm not sure if it's related or not, but, you know, I've... Uh, as I've been realigning myself, I've been playing music more again in my life. And uh, it's interesting, I've been, that you talked about not caring about who gets the credit for something. And I used to be really concerned about writing music. I wanna write and I don't wanna play other people's songs. But lately I've really been inspired to learn other people's songs. And I think it's been very helpful to me. Well, it certainly does give you an opportunity to feel the harmonics of something that somebody else already figured out works. And it helps you to practice the vibration of that feeling. Mm -hmm. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Because I'm, I'm like, it, it's giving me joy in music that I, don't, I can't remember feeling, you know. And then I start wondering, it's like, the, with all our inner beings being intermixed, like, how much is that song, am I a part of it, or, or was Yes, because you're the new translator of it. It's never been played like that before. It has never been what it is now, ever. Okay, I love that. <laughs> Sometimes people will say, well, I really admire this dead musician or this dead composer or this dead painter or whoever it is. So now that they are dead, I will channel them. And we say, they don't have to be dead for you to do that because there's an energy stream of them and their inner beings are contributing. Consider it from this framework. When you think a thought, that thought thinks. So when someone writes a song, that song sing beyond what the original singer of the song sang. Ooh, so is that song always evolving? Always. Okay, wow. Even to the last person who is receiving it. Each person that received it puts a different vibrational nuance on it, which then you may be responding to. That's why our friend knows that we have him on our mind with every word we speak. And that one, 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 and that one. Understanding you at all levels of your being, knowing where you are in relationship to what you want, knowing what's the best scenario for the most pleasure or alignment for each and all. It's a lovely co-creating thing that's going on in this world of physical and non-physical co-creating, isn't it? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm loving everything. And I do felt like when they asked those questions, they were asking for me or I was getting the answer in that way. Sometimes people say, oh, Abraham, we are so appreciative of your answers. And we say, without your questions, there would be not one. So when does it start? In other words, when does the answer end and the new question begin? And then when does the new question end and the new answer begin? Isn't it just this eternal interplay that we are all about? And if that's so, then should there be unhappiness with myself in my human form when I'm having a step one moment? Or appreciation for the birthing of the step three moment that this step one moment is giving to the universe so you're starting to get the sense of your eternal nature and the important role that you play in all of it you see oh uh, that brings another question and you call us genius creators everybody and um, is it just every human a genius creator or is there a way to be in to ask a question even I don't know like why, why do you say that well, when we say it, it's not for sake of flattery. We want you to feel the satisfaction that comes when you hook up with you. That's what we call that genius moment. When you let yourself fully be you while you are engaging in something that is new out here. One might say, we might say, we are saying that the birthing of something beyond what is is that moment that we're talking about something far beyond regurgitation that's that quest for joy that you're looking for that's that knowing that there is more and reaching for it but you see you have an interesting perspective because on the one hand we're saying to you it's the next logical step it has to feel like the next logical step or you can't take it and when it feels like the next logical step it doesn't feel like some great big deal so you're gonna have to figure out what to do with that that's where that satisfaction comes in 
Humans are so used, so accustomed to having such a big gap between their desire and their letting it in that they want the band to play and the champagne to flow whenever they do a little bit of allowing. <laughs> and we want there to be such a subtle gap between what you're reaching for and letting in and what you're reaching for and letting in that you are in a continual state of satisfaction at varying levels of being. That's really what you intended. I had another question kind of about physics. I'm not sure where it's going with this, but I feel like there's some, there's a beauty in it. Like I, I like to fly drones, but I like, I don't like have any restrictions. And, and what I've noticed with that, I, I thought I was trying to defy gravity, but I'm not, I, I'm, I'm dancing with it. You know, and I'm feeling that kind of flow, and I, I, I can't help but to see that pattern in everything, like in dancing and in music. It, it, is is that? I mean, I guess it must be, but it, so that pattern is throughout everything that is in connection with source. Accepting the realness, and you could say the rightness of the basis, and then going with the flow of that. The acceptance of the existence of your inner being is a big awareness familiarizing yourself with what it feels like to be in vibrational sync with your inner being is just such an important and amazing thing the ability to maintain your relationship with the vibration of your inner being that's true mastery and then the exhilaration of co-creating in conjunction with that perspective that's what you intended when you came into this physical body you didn't come to get worthy you are you didn't come to fix something you came to create you didn't come to solve problems you came for the joyous journey of evolution and you could say that the journey of evolution is the solving of problems you could say that but you didn't come to eradicate problems <laughs> oh, that's so good you didn't come to eradicate your world of problems you came to soar on the energy of them you came to experience the bounce from contrast and the clarity of it and you brought a guidance system with you so that once you tune in on it you could tune in on it you could identify it and isolate it and calibrate to it and then utilize it um, I want to ask one more question about mastery, and, and you said so many times. Uh, is, is mastery like... Is Getting it really good at something. It, it, and that's all, all that it is? Or is it... Because there's something we'll so beautiful. We'll define mastery. Mm -hmm. Doing it because I want to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because loving it so much that nothing else will do. That's mastery. And, and that's all you need to know about it, right? Because when you feel like that, you feel like your inner being feels. And when you feel like your inner being feels, you have mastered it. That is flow state, right? Flow state? Yeah. Okay. Tuned in, tapped in, turned on. Okay. There is such appreciation for you. Esther was running over in her mind the long list of things and experiences and situations and mostly people she is appreciating appreciating the ship of course and all the momentum that it has accomplished before you all got here all of that readiness for you that is something really to appreciate isn't it and then Esther is mostly thinking mostly about her merry band her team of technicians her camera people and her audio people so many people some of them out where you can see them and lots of them behind the scenes and all of them doing it because they want to because they want to not because they should or because they have to but because they want to because they want to be part of this they want to be a piece of 
the magnificence of this you see can you feel yourself in the scenarios of your life experience and can you feel the important role that you play Esther cannot admit any one of them Peter and Richard and Jared and Mark not one of them can she imagine not being part of this scenario Val Val's new to her game and she can't live without Val you can't either Melissa Ron and his team there is a lot going on in your world that is obvious and appreciation for these important committed doing it because they want to pieces in all of this it matters and it feels good to feel that we want you to focus with us on the unseen fairies of the universe who are working with commitment in constant harmony with you and your requests and you know why we are all about that because we want to not one of us has been assigned to you not one of us needs to do it we are with you in your hopes and dreams and daydreams and night dreams and wishes we are with you in all of that because it feels so good for us to ride on the wings of what you are about you see this is co-creation at its best this gathering has produced enough satisfying material to keep Esther happy ever after she'll get over it by tomorrow <laughs> there is so much love here for you we are eager about what is next we are satisfied with what is and we have transmitted our strongest wish for you and that is that you know you as we know you and for now we are complete <laughs>